Hey everybody, happy Friday. My camera is once again messed up. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Let's see if I can get you where you need to be. All right, well, I guess that's gonna have to do today. Am I backwards? I don't know, something feels off. <laughs> well, it's Friday once again. Friday gets here fast, I feel like. Um, we are gonna be doing the Silly Goose today, and it looks like I got some craziness going on. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> you know, if you don't do Facebook Lives yourself, let me just tell you, opening the phone up to have your face, it's its a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Anyhow, we'll flip it around quickly, so we don't have to look at that. Um, anyhow, let's see. Okay, let me pull you guys up. It has been a crazy week here in the Sirwin house, but I am ready for Facebook Friday. We're doing Silly Goose, and strangely enough, this was one of the stamp sets in the spring catalog that Stampin' Up! I can't stand it. I gotta fix it. I don't know what's going on. This is one of those stamp sets that Stampin' Up! offered in both photopolymer and cling. And cling mount, sometimes those get confused, but cling mount is the red rubber. It clings to your block. Photopolymer is clear, like where you can totally see through it. I don't think I paid attention when I ordered this because I would have probably ordered this in photopolymer. Um, they had several stamp sets there in the spring catalog like that. So this stamp set is carrying over into the annual catalog, but only in photopolymer. So if you like the cling mount version better, because some people do prefer the cling, then it's leaving. It's one of those things that I guess is on the last chance list. It's very strange, hard to keep up with. It's the exact same price, exact same stamp set, just made of different material. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, the other thing that today is focusing on um, are new colors. So I'm using a mix of last chance items and sneak peeks from the annual catalog. Um, I've had fun this week playing with the colors. I will tell you that I didn't think I liked Pretty Peacock all that much or Lost Lagoon and I've changed my mind. Now we have a project with it and I have changed my mind for sure. So, okay. Hello everybody, good to see you. Um, let's see, where do I wanna start today? Sweet Citrus Class to Go. We're coming up on the deadline. Next Friday is the deadline for this mega class. I'm going to start working on this next week. So if you want to jump in on this class to go, please do so soon. I'm going to set a limit on this um, so that I can start working on it, cutting and doing all the things. Um, it's 10 projects and it's crazy cute, bright, fun, summery. Um, you've got lemon. Lime, coconut, grapefruit, and orange projects. A card and a 3D for each one. So if you want this, look on today's PDF, click that link, or email me for the registration link, okay? The other thing that I have up for you is Club Create. This month's Club, no, no, not this month, next month, May's Club Create features the Crafting With You bundle. And if you haven't gotten your catalog yet and you haven't seen this stamp set, it is so cute. It's got the cut and emboss machine. It's got an easel. But the dies, the dies are my favorite part. Mine are kind of messy. They're not, they're not organized right now. But let's see if I can fix it. There is a, I could not figure out what this was. It is a paper trimmer. Do I have that on here? Yeah, you can see on the front of this, it's a little paper trimmer. I mean, hello, I didn't know I needed a paper trimmer die, but it is so cute. There are scissors, there's an embroidery hoop, ruler, it's very cute. So this, so May's Club Create will feature this bundle and it'll be this caddy with four cards. Um, Club Create is a monthly subscription, it's $39. And by the way, starting either in June or July, that price is gonna go up for new, subscriptions. Um, costs have gone up on everything, you guys. So I'm going to bump that up a little bit. I'm having trouble providing what I want to provide for you guys. So if you already have a subscription, your price won't change. But as new subscribers come on, that price is going to change. So anyway, I'll talk about that in June. But just to let you know, that's coming. 
Um, $39 includes about $20 in products. See, that's the problem. Our product has gone up in price. So now what I can include is less. So I want to make sure that you're getting, you know, a lot of goodies in your kit. Um, and shipping has gone up. Uh, price of envelopes has gone up. Everything has gone up. But anyway, I keep getting distracted. $39 a month, you get about $20 in product, five projects, a video, and a PDF, and shipping. Um, if you stay for six months, you get to choose $25 of product as a, as a gift from me. Okay, so the link for that is at the top of my blog. You just click it. Whoa, almost dropped it. You just click it, and it'll, it'll give you that subscription link. Okay? And I don't know what's what I'm going to do in June. Now, guys, I, I am moving in June. So June is freaking me out. I, I'm going to, I'm going to get it all done, but it is freaking me out. So I, I don't know what's happening in June. We'll see. <laughs> I'll let club create now as soon as we get there. All right. Um, was that all I was going to show you? I guess so, because we're going to spend some time looking at colors today. Um, before I do that, I just want to tell you guys that I want to remind you of a few things. Oh, no, there is something else I wanted to tell you. Where is that paper? I printed it out and it's still on the printer. Um, I am going to do product shares, new paper and ribbon. I know it's backwards. Let's see. Will it? Can I change it? Uh, forget it. I'm not going to change it. This blog post went up this morning. So if you go to my blog, you should see it. Um, the details are there. I can't post any pictures of the paper yet because we can't post pictures from inside the catalog until the catalog is live and i only have three packs of paper which doesn't do it justice so if you have a catalog you can look through and see all of those things um, that'll be included and the pricing is on there as well um i haven't sent an email yet <laughs> i will okay so paper and ribbon shares are one blog post back from this morning that is one thing i wanted to tell you um, last chance list. We've still got a lot of stuff retiring from this catalog and this catalog up to 60% off. And today I'm going to show you four things that are super cheap that I use on my projects that you guys are going to love. And look, I did get my catalog. Yay. I'm waiting for my, my coil that I ordered. Um, I have a binding machine myself that I, for my own catalog that I do. But if you guys ever want a binder, you can take it to an office store and they will bind it for you. Um, if you signed up for a catalog from me, Stampin' Up! is mailing it to you, should be there soon. And if you're in Club Create, your catalogs that if you requested one will be in your Club Create kit next week. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Um, oh, here's the other thing. I guess I could just tell you. Well, I'll flip it around. I'll just flip it around. Hold on, let me move all this paper. I did a deep dive in my paper in my uh, scraps drawer and my retired paper box. And I'm going to show you some, some color comparisons. I wish I had had the foresight to save a piece of in color cardstock from every in color since I joined. But I didn't do that. But I do have some that I can show you comparisons. Okay, hold on. Let me get this fixed. All right, are we straightish? Straightish. If you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always pick one product and we make three projects with it. And today it's the Silly Goose, but really Silly Goose, I think it's taking a back seat to the new colors that I'm showing you. Um, the new colors won't be able to be ordered until May 2nd if you are not a demonstrator. So I want you to look at the, the PDF for today. I've color coded some things. If it's in green, that means you can't order it until May 2nd, okay? If it's in red, that means it's a last chance list and it's been marked down, okay? So it's on sale. So green means you can't order it until May 2nd. Red means get it now before it's sold out. All right, um, so that is at pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. If you guys checked, is the post there? I am straightish, Christine. Good, straightish. You know, I don't strive for perfection. <laughs> Let's see. Let me pull my blog up and make sure everything looks okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So here's today's post right here. And here's the information about paper, paper and ribbon shares right there. All right. Okay. So today, silly goose, if you want today's make and takes, I send these for free um, with anybody who, to anybody who orders from now until Monday at midnight and uses this host code. Oops. I forgot to pull Facebook back up. Um, you will get a kit. It looks like this. Well, why did it, it left? I can't see you guys. Um, you will need the stamps. I never send stamped images. That is against Stampin' Up! policy. If you are getting a kit from somebody that has pre-stamped images, they need to talk to compliance <laughs> because I've had a lot of people asking me that lately. If I include the stamped images, no. That is like the golden rule of stamping up. You cannot include stamped images. I can die cut circles for you. I can score your paper. I can even tie your bows for you, but I cannot stamp for you, okay? So you'll always have to provide your own stamp. So you'll need silly goose or, I don't know, if you have the chicken stamp, you could use a chicken. You could use whatever you want. You could always sub, but you'll get the kit. You'll get everything. See, look, sometimes I do tie bows. You'll get everything you need for today's projects. Today also, we're using a couple of other stamp sets, like the conversation bubbles, um, the hand-drawn dots, and one embossing folder. So again, usually it's just the bundle that you need, but I again, I'm not sending stamped images, so you'll need to provide whatever stamps you see. And the only other thing I don't do is embossing, okay? I will die cut, I will score, I will punch. I just don't emboss. Okay, so there is that. Oh, we got to do prizes. If you, did I finish saying that I will send you the make and takes for free if you put in an order by Monday at midnight using this host code? The host code is also here and it's also on my blog. Um, if you share today's video, either on Facebook or YouTube, you'll be in entered to win a prize. Here's our prize winner from last week, Amy Luna. Amy, I don't think I have your mailing address, so please send it to me so I can send you the Desert Details bundle. Thank you so much for sharing. I do appreciate it. This week, I've got another bundle, Lighting the Way. Lighting the Way. I love this bundle, and it is carrying over. It will be in the annual catalog. Okay. Let's see. I'm just seeing. Okay. Um, let's talk about paper. Let's talk about paper. All right. So we're having a color refresh. And if you didn't know, these are the colors that are leaving Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Mango Melody, Mary Merlot, M Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, So Saffron, and Soft Suede. All right, so those are gone. You can still order them through May 1st if they're, if they're not sold out. Ink pads, ink refills, cardstock, all of that. But they are being replaced with some very lovely colors. And I will say that these colors are kind of moody and kind of dusty. I don't feel like we have lemon lime twist, which is a bright and azure afternoon, which is a bright, but the rest of them are kind of in that, I don't know, it, that trend. I mean, if you go and look this, these are the colors my kids, whenever they pick out clothes, they want a dusty blue. They want a very dusty mauve. Um, they like these kind of brown funky colors. So these are trendy colors. Um, I have loved every single color that Stampin' Up! has ever put out, except for one. Can anybody guess what that color was? Um, it was a few years ago, and it was an in color. I was able to get on board with every color, and not, maybe it's not my favorite, but I didn't not like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let me show you these colors while you guys guess at what color was my least favorite. Okay, so here's a Berry Burst. This is a returning in color, and I'm gonna show you next to some others. Let me move this. Berry Burst, there's Polished Pink, which is leaving us. This is Rococo Rose, remember Rococo Rose? I also wanna pull out, let's pull out that mauve that's in the in colors. 
here's that mauve. So you can see it's pur more purple than Rococo Rose was. All right, so this is Moody Mauve, which I think is a great color. I mean, a great name. Here's Magenta. Let's go back to Berry Burst. Let's keep Berry Burst out. All right, those, those two would have gone well together, wouldn't they? All right, so Magenta's retired. Lovely Lipstick, which is one of my favorite colors of all time. Lovely Lipstick is a very, it's red. Here's Melon Mambo. And Mary Merlot, which is leaving. And I had to write them, I had to label them. <laughs> I knew once I got them together, I wouldn't be able to remember. And then Rich Razzleberry. So I think that this Berry Burst is more purpley um, than, it's a purpley, what would you say? A purpley pink. Here's Blackberry Bliss. So I think that those two will go really well together. Rich Razzleberry is leaving, but it would have gone well with it too. So Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss. Red raspberry. All right. So does that give you kind of an idea? Man, you guys knew exactly which color it was because I think it was all your least favorite colors too. That summer star fruit. Ugh, that was the worst color we ever had. But I don't know. It's it was on trend, I guess. Okay, so that's berry burst. Since we're in the pinks, let's look at the other new pink that is called called bubble bath and I keep calling it polished pink I even called it polished pink in the video yesterday so <laughs> just know it's going to take me a while you guys know I used to call pale papaya peekaboo be peekaboo peach for like six months so here's bubble bath it's very like a baby pink light um here it is next to the yucky blushing bride that is leaving I didn't hate blushing bride I just didn't like it that much here's another one of my all-time favorite colors strawberry slush um, let's see. Let's go back a little bit. Did I pull out Blushing Bride? Where's Petal Pink? I think maybe that's over here with my oranges. Here's Petal Pink. Nope. Oh, here's, here's Powdered Pink. I did have a package of Powdered Pink. Look. Well, that's not it. Where did it go? Wait, wait, wait. Right here. Bubble Bath. Okay, so Powdered Pink and Bubble Bath. Nope. Not even close. It does look good with Blushing Bride, though. Well, who cares? They're gone. <laughs> bubble bath I don't have what do I keep calling it powdered pink is what I was calling it right pink pirouette that's the one pink pirouette does anybody have a, a sheet of pink pirouette see Kathy says she loves summer star fruit it went well with night of navy it was a, a trendy very trendy color um if Anne Marie's on here, I know she's got a lot of old paper. I was wondering if she had pink pirouette because I think that that's probably what's closest to bubble bath. Okay, so let's move away from that and let's look at our blues. That's what's really making up the, the most of our new colors. We have more blues than anything. So we have Lost Lagoon. Let's move all the pinks and reds. Did I cover them all? I did. Um, pinks. The blues. Okay, so here's Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. We're going to use those today. They go really well together. I would call them stamp uh, color buddies. Color buddies are two colors that pair really well together. All right, and then here is, well, no, hold on. Let me pull out. Would you say these are more blue or more green? I mean, they really are a mix, right? All right, so here is Just Jade, Garden Green, Shaded Spruce, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow, Granny Apple. We'll come back to this in a minute. Cucumber Crush. Oh, I love that color too. Call Me Clover, Pear Pizzazz. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted to get to. Mint Macaron, which is leaving. Let's see. What does it look like? Ooh, that would have gone well, right? So, But you can see Lost Lagoon is a deeper... Um, I don't know, bluer, I guess. Oh yeah, it does look bluer on the screen. Here is Soft Succulent, which I think is probably the one that's the closest. Yeah, those are really close. On the screen, it looks different. See that? Soft Succulent. All right, then we have, let's see, Evening Evergreen. That's not even close. That one's leaving. And then what else do we have that would be comparable what about 
pool party. Ooh, look, pool party in Lost Lagoon. I would call those color buddies too. Those look really, really good together. Um, now, as far as pretty peacock, I don't think we've ever, we have any color that's similar to that. Um, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Blueberry. Blueberry is one of our new colors, right? Blueberry. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. All right, Coastal Cabana and Pretty Peacock. They look pretty good together. Right? They look pretty good together. Tahitian Tide, Bermuda Bay. Pretty Peacock's a really dark, deep, greenish blue. Um, oh, okay, here's one seaside spray that everybody loved. And then, did I already pull out pool party? I thought I did. Do I have two pool parties? Here's balmy. How about balmy? Nope. Misty moonlight. Okay, misty moonlight is a new color also. And wasn't misty moonlight out at the same time seaside spray was? Weren't those the two that went so well together? Too bad Seaside Spray left. But we have this new blue, if I can find it, called Boho Blue. This is an in color, so this one won't stay around longer than two years. And look, look how nice that looks together. All right, there's Seaside Spray and Boho Blue. Let's get these out of here so it's not contaminating our view. All right, so Seaside Spray was good, but Boho is very good too. All right. I wish I could hear what you guys were saying. I know everybody has an opinion. Everybody sees color differently, I think. They were in colors together, right, Christine? Those were the two that went so well together. Um, pool party. Let's look at Azure Afternoon. Ooh, let's get Seaside out of here because we don't have it anymore, but that looked good, didn't it? All right, Azure. And then that paper, that countryside paper that I'm using for In Color Club. It uses Misty Moonlight. It uses Night of Navy, Boho Blue, and Balmy Blue. And I just didn't think that the Balmy Blue went very well with it. Well, I guess it's okay. All right, so these two are new. This is Navy and this is Balmy. And then there's that Azure Afternoon. Let's look at that compared to Tahitian Tide, which is a, a returning in color. Very different. They're very, very different. I think they might go pretty good together, though. Um, Coastal Gavana is going to be too green. Let's see. Where is our Coastal Cabana? Here we go. Coastal Cabana. Oh, yeah. No. This is like the color of the water in different oceans around the world, right? Sometimes it's that color. Sometimes like in the Caribbean, it's that color. Sometimes it's that color. Oh, so pretty. Now, pool party looks kind of dull next to those, I think. Right? Kind of dull. Okay. Now, we need to we need to get a move on. Let's talk about purple posy. That's a color that remember, we had all kinds of problems with purple posy. The ink pads didn't work and they pulled them and we never got them again. Fresh Freesia is a in color right now that should be retiring, but it's joining the subtles in the core colors. So let's look at it with Highland Heather. It really is very different than Highland Heather. I think it's more on the purple posy side than the Highland Heather side, but it's a good kind of a pinky purple. All right, Lemon Lime Twist is my favorite returning color. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're going to use it today with Granny Apple Green. They go really well together. And you will be surprised at what other color I put with it. Lemon Lime and Granny Apple. Lemon Lime Twist was so popular. So, so popular when it was an end color. Um, okay. And then we've got this color. <laughs> And I don't really know what to say about this color. It's an in color. It's wild wheat. And 
remember I, I always say there's this yellow that left and I loved it and I was sad that it left and I couldn't remember what it was. Well, I found it and it's Dijon, delightful Dijon. So not close at all, not close. I wish I had summer star fruit just for comparisons. Has anybody compared it in person? Um, Lisa, you know, Marina Mist. I'm surprised I don't have any of that in here too. I liked Marina Mist. Um, I'm hoping you're right. Kathy, do you like this? Since you liked summer star fruit, do you like wild wheat? Everything else I'm like, you know, okay, this one, I, we're going to have to, we're going to need some work. <laughs> I'm going to need some work. But I do think you're right. I think in the fall, will it will like it. Right now it's spring and the flowers are blooming and everything's light and easy and soft. And this just doesn't feel like a color I want to use right now. Here it is compared to bumblebee. That was such a good yellow. Here's mango. Here's so saffron, which I love so saffron. And now it looks green when you put so saffron next to it, doesn't it? Wow, that's so crazy. So right there, look at it like that. Okay. And then when you put so saffron on it, it just makes it so much greener. Crazy. All right, here's lemon lolly. This is another new one, and it's very different. I don't have the old... They compare it to another yellow that was before my time. I don't have that one. Here it is with daffodil. Ooh, that's pretty. See, these are the kind of colors I want to use right now. And then crushed curry. So what does crushed curry look like with it? Mm. All right, I'm seeing it's 227, so I got to hurry because my husband's going to be home at 315. So let's look real quick through the rest. I love this. This is Pebbled Path, and I keep wanting to call it Stone. Pebbled Path. Let's look at it next to Sahara Sand and Soft Suede and Tip Top Taupe. Remember Tip Top Taupe? I totally forgot about that, and I found a package of it in my cabinet. Those go together good, really good. All right, and then here's Cinnamon Cider. I couldn't find Baked Brown Sugar. That I loved that color. I was thinking Cinnamon Cider might be similar to that. Or Pecan Pie. Pecan Pie and Cinnamon Cider. Next to Soft Suede. That'll give you an idea. Okay, Pecan Pie will replace Soft Suede very nicely. Um, Sahara Sand is leaving. I don't know why we even have Sahara Sand. <laughs> Um, here's another new color, um, copper clay. And I was going to show you that compared to, ooh, all the oranges. Where's my Cajun craze? And then we will move on. Petal pink, peekaboo, Cajun. All right. Cajun and copper. They go together pretty good. Let's look at it with, yeah. Okay, what if we brought in with those... The wild wheat. Then will we feel like it's fall? Let's move all the colors out of the way and let's look at them together. Okay? What do you guys think? Are we on board with fall colors? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I'll get there. I don't know. I'm looking at it in the screen and it looks okay. It looks all right. The 70s, Lisa. Uh, Terry, that's what I'm saying. I wish I had a sheet of summer star fruit. And when I said that, I thought, I, that's, those are words I thought I'd never say. <laughs> Why would anyone hang on to summer star fruit? Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna move on. I mean, we could spend days and days and days on this. But that's just giving you kind of an idea of all of our new colors. I'm going to start a binder. Stamina Up has a binder of all their papers. I'm going to start a binder like that. I spent a bunch of time pulling out paper today. And uh, I'm missing Summer Star Fruit. What was the other one? Baked Brown Sugar. So if any of my local downline have a sheet of that and want to bring it to our team meeting on Monday as a gift to your lovely team leader, <laughs> I would be so happy. Okay, let's start stamping. We're going to start with, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, this one's heavy. We're going to start with... The color I said I didn't like, which is, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just didn't love it. Let me clarify. Lost Lagoon. And Lost Lagoon and what's the other one called? 
pretty peacock. All right. And the other color I brought in with this is Berry Burst. I think they look pretty good together. I can't get the paper picked up off the tray. Here we go. I think they look pretty good together. Don't you? I think so. Okay, let's make our little backgrounds first. We're gonna need our die. Oh my gosh, I've got stuff everywhere. Let's get organized here. We're gonna use this basic border die on a half sheet of our um, Lost Lagoon. And it's gonna take me a while, you guys. I'm gonna call these colors the wrong name. If you go and watch my clean recording of this video, my individual recording of this project, I, I get them mixed up the entire time. Lost Lagoon. Um, See, I, I can't like draw it up. I mean, I have to think about it. what is it? It's um, Pretty Peacock. All right, so I'm gonna cut that one like that. Now this hill's gonna go that way. <laughs> Kathy says she will take up a collection of summer star fruit. Apparently she's the only person to like summer star fruit. All right, now this hill's gonna go this way. All right. Now we're gonna do something to each one of these to make them look different. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back one, which is this one right here, and we're gonna emboss it with the Into the Clouds embossing folder. Now I wrote down prices yesterday because I was amazed at the prices of some of these things. Into the Clouds embossing folder is leaving, and it is only, wait for it, Listen, get ready, $3.40. How much off is that, Terry? The original price, what was it? I mean, is that 60% or is that more? That feels like more than 60%. That's a lot, $3.40. And it's so cute, I love it. All right, so there is that. Now the other thing we're gonna do, all right, now look, you guys, let's have a little, just a straight talk right now, okay? I'm gonna use my Stamparatus and I'm gonna keep using it because I love it. And I have been preaching at you guys to get a Stamparatus for how many years? So if you didn't get it before it sold out, I'm sorry. But I love it and I'm gonna still use it, okay? <laughs> don't send me any hate mail. I don't care. <laughs> so Stamparatus is sold out. All right, moving on. Um, we're going to take, so we've got this in the background, and we're going to take this one. We'll take this one right here. And we're, no, no, we're going to do the front one. Okay, the front one with this hand drawn dots. And we're going to use Lost Lagoon. But that looks like I used the other one. I don't know. Let's see. This background stamp is also on Clarence leaving I'm getting ink everywhere for get ready seven dollars and sixty cents all right now I'm stamping off on the grid paper you thought I forgot to put my paper on there didn't you but no I'm stamping off so that we only have like a light little sprinkling of dots we don't want it like raw you know in your face because that'll make it too crazy all right now the third hill you need to get your grid paper, okay? And we're gonna add some ink to all three of these, but this one, we're gonna get our Stampin' Blend, which is lost, apparently, oh, here it is. And we're gonna flick some ink all over this guy. This is Pretty Peacock Stampin' Blend, so that it'll stand out, okay? I feel like Lost Lagoon will get kind of lost and you won't be able to see it. Now we're gonna take, we're going back to um, Lost Lagoon ink and we're gonna add some ink. Okay, and then we're gonna do that to all the pieces. Ooh, I got a little heavy handed right there. Yee, that's all right, we'll cover it up with the goose. All right, now this one, I'm gonna go across the whole thing because it'll make that texture really pop out. 
Now, I know that this looks weird, but we're just gonna cut all that off here in a minute, so it's okay. All right. Okay, so now you're gonna want to get a piece of Lost Lagoon. That is four by five and a fourth. And we're gonna start in the back with the hills, all right? And notice that my piece is bigger than the bottom piece. And I always do that because I like to be able to trim it down because if I try to cut it the same size, I guarantee you one of them's gonna be too small and it's not gonna be right. So I always make it just a little bit bigger than it has to be, okay? And then I'm gonna do this one, the next one, which is this one, like that. And then last but not least is our little polka dots in the front. And we're gonna put that, we'll put that like that. Okay, so now, now what, right? It's way too big. Well, we're gonna take our trimmer. I went really low with that front heel, but that's okay. And we're gonna trim off all of these pieces. Okay, trim them all off. We want them to be even with that piece. There we go. And now you've got these cute little Lost Lagoon Hills. All right, so we're sticking with Lost Lagoon. Where did my adhesive go? I know I brought it over here earlier because I had it in the living room. Hmm, I do not see it. Do, 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 do. Where did it go? Hold a second. Well, it's probably, oh, here it is. Yeah, it was in the wrong place. Okay, I was making swaps. Look at that. Well, we better put some dimensionals down there so that doesn't happen. And I set it down on the adhesive, didn't I? Ah. All right. We don't want this flapping in the wind. So let's put some dimensionals down here. All right. Set that down right on there. Okay, so now we've got our base, very nice and pretty. And we're gonna stamp our goose. And we're gonna stamp it twice, we're gonna emboss. Now you guys know I love to use my Stampin' Blends, but sometimes when you're making a lot of something, Stampin' Blends takes a lot of time. If you gotta make, you know, um, What's my Versa mark? You've got to make, you know, if you've got to make 20 of something, coloring all of them in takes a lot of time. So this image is actually good because there's not a lot of coloring in. I'm gonna stamp him first on Berry Burst. I'm using my um, embossing buddy. And really all I need here is the thinks. Okay, because we're gonna emboss that part. in white. And I better save that because we're gonna use that again on the last project. I didn't think I loved Berry Burst either, but you know what, I think I do love it. It's a purpley pink. And I like it. And it goes really well with these colors. All right, now the other thing that we're gonna do is stamp him, or maybe it's a her, on basic white in Memento. So this guy doesn't require a lot of coloring in. That was my point earlier. You can still use your Stampin' Blends, but it's not gonna take you nearly as long. Last night I was working on some swaps that used a new monkey stamp that you'll see in the annual catalog and it was taking me forever. 
to get them all colored in. So I was thinking, boy, this card would have been a lot easier had I used the goose. But it's a new catalog swap, so I had to use new, something new. All right, I'm gonna put a little smoky slate line below him so he's not floating around in space. The neck, oh, I don't think I put this on the supply list either. We have a new punch, two and three eighths. We have never had a two and three eighths. Well, I don't wanna say never, but I don't think we've had one. Two and three eighths. It's a big circle, which I like, because sometimes you just wanna reach for a punch, right? You don't want to get up, find a die. Sometimes you just want quick and easy, and that's good. That punch is good, because it's large. Sometimes you need a large circle. A lot of times you need a large circle. Okay, so for this, we're gonna cut this out. And usually I tell you to leave a little border around your image, but because we're paper piecing, we wanna put this right down on those lines so it matches perfectly. So get your scissors and you're probably gonna need your glasses if you have them. I need my glasses right now for this. And stay just barely on the outside of that white line, okay? And then for these little finger notches, well, I guess they're feather notches, not fingers. We're gonna just boop, notch that out right there. Notch that one out. And that one. All right. Now, did I take my glue as well? Nope, here it is. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And um, Lisa, me too. I always think, okay, what is there a punch I can use here? <laughs> yes, and who was it, Joan? Yes, so watercoloring can be easier and faster sometimes. Yes, agreed. All right, so now we've got that. The last thing we're going to do is I forgot to do this when we had our grid paper up. Here is another retiring product that is on sale. Not quite as cheap as the others, but still cheap. These are called, let me look at my note, Forever Flourishing Dies, and they're $18. They're a good like foliage set. You know, sometimes you just need a branch or a leaf or something. This is a good set for that. All right, now bring this over here. We're gonna load our little dude up with some dimensionals. And we're gonna take this and stick that kind of coming out from behind like that. Now, last but not least, I've got one more retiring product for you. And it's the Champagne Rhinestones. And we're gonna color them. Why are my hands so dirty? We're gonna color these with um, Pretty Peacock, Stampin' Blend. Have you ever colored your rhinestones or your gems or whatever with alcohol markers? It's awesome, you can make gems in any color that you need. These are marked down to $5.40. All of these are in the United States, so if you're watching from another country, you'll have to look and see what it costs in your country or if it's even still available. Um, these are all as of yesterday. I haven't checked them today. They could sell out at any time. These, so, so these rhinestones, $5.40, cost more than that embossing folder that I showed you at the beginning, $3.40. So that is crazy how cheap that embossing folder is. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think about Lost Lagoon? And, oh, I didn't put my bow. Hold on. I was just thinking something doesn't look right. We got to use a linen thread bow. I folded it in half so we have a double bow. I wish I had a sink in here so I could wash my hands. All right, I've got a tiny few little dots left on this, this glue dot package. And we'll put that right there. And there you go, guys. Thanks. Isn't he cute? 
I love him. Kind of unexpected colors, I think, with our goose for sure. All right. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Tranquil Tide and Berry Birch were in colors together. Tranquil Tide is the one I thought we were having back, right? <laughs> Last week. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't supposed to be in here. Okay. Let's move on and do our next project. I've got two 3D projects for you today. Well, I don't know if you could call the next one a 3D. The only reason I don't like having inky fingers, you guys, is because it gets on your project. Hold on, let me see if I have hand sanitizer. Yes, I do. That will take some of it off. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, see, it takes some of it off. Man, something is leaking. I think it's the marker. Or maybe it's just I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a mess in a lot of things. All right. Next up, we are going to use Lemon Lime Twist and Granny Apple Green. And Pumpkin Pie. Did you know that pumpkin pie would go with granny apple green and lemon lime twist? It does. It does. It's a bright and fun little notepad holder. I found these post-it notes at Walmart and I thought that these greens would be a good match for lemon lime twist and granny apple green, but they're not exactly the same, but the blue, they all go well with the green. That one goes pretty good. Let's use that one. And four by four sticky note, that's a good size. All right, let's make our holder. Now, yesterday my measurements were not correct. So I'm hoping I fixed them on the PDF and I cut the right size paper. <laughs> so let's, let's see, did Erica fix it? I don't know. All right, you're gonna need, oh, it's already, I did score it yesterday. You're gonna need, this is eight and a half by four and an eighth. Let's look at the assembly score and just make sure. Four and an eighth, because these are four by four, so we wanted it just a little bit bigger than the notepad. So four and an eighth by eight and a half, and you scored at four and an eighth, and four and three eighths, okay? And that will make, just this little book like that. Yep, those are the right measurements to put your notepad in. All right, now a notepad is a great little gift for anybody, but you know, teacher appreciation is in May. So this would be fun to give to your child's teacher on one of the days. Don't make this their only gift. Make it one of their gifts. Now, I have a problem, you guys, okay? Because I'm using so much new stuff, I've got plenty of cardstock to send you guys the projects, but this paper right here, I may not have enough of. And I'm gonna show you this paper in the next project. So just know if you get this make and take kit next week, this paper may be different because I only have not a lot. I don't have a lot and it takes one whole six by six sheet to make this, so just an FYI. Um, the other thing I may not have enough of is this ribbon right here. This is the ribbon combo pack. And the reason why I say I don't have enough is because when you're a demonstrator and the new catalog comes out, we have pre-order, which means we can order a certain selection of things the month ahead of time like this. So we can show customers and, you know, make samples and stuff. But we have limits. I can't just order five packs of ribbon. I can only order two. So that's why I say I may not have enough, but I'm hoping I will. If not, I'll sub it for something else, something else that goes good. All right, so Granny Apple Green and this paper, it's called Bright and Beautiful, right? Am I saying that right? Bright and Beautiful. Let me look at my notes. Bright and Beautiful, yep. And then Pumpkin Pie, this is from the new Brights designer series paper. They come up with a new pack every year and it has four sheets of each color in the Brights family, the Suttles family, all the color families. And uh, sorry, I get distracted with comments. And uh, this year the, the um, patterns are bold and funky. I like them. 
polka dots, hearts, stripes, and what's the other one? I can't remember. All right, so put a strip of that. Now let's stamp our little geese. Geese feels like it's too fancy for these guys. That word, it feels, woo, goodness, I am making a mess today. I feel like I should call them gooses, but I know that's not right. Two high-fiving geese. We're gonna stamp them on a basic white piece. Oh, I'm off-centered, let's try it again. Let's try it, it, they just fit just right on this piece. Let's try it again. Oh, I missed his tail. Okay, well, whatever. You know what you can do? Let me just show you, hold on. If you ever accidentally are missing, and if you're brave, you can just get your black stamp and write marker and finish it off. I mean, you know, it's pretty easy. Okay, so again, we're gonna color them with, all we're doing is petal pink for the cheeks. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh no, that's the next project. Never mind. I thought I forgot something, but it's on the next project. Um, light pumpkin pie for the beaks, bills. I don't know. For the goose's beak. And then his little feet. And again, we want to give them a little shadow line so that they are not floating around in space. All right, we're gonna mount them on pumpkin pie. And we're gonna mount that on this. That's probably overkill with four dimensionals, but whatever. Probably two would be fine. Three would be great. Four, is there, this is never going anywhere. It's not moving. All right, now, okay. Now here's another issue that we ran into. Conversation bubbles stamp set. I don't even have the thing. It is a bundle. It was a bundle in the spring catalog. Unfortunately, the dies are gone. You know, where are the dies? I had them here. Did I put them away? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go get them. Um, if you didn't get the dies, the stamp set is still available and you can get it if you want without the dies. But I have the dies somewhere. Let me grab them because I am not gonna cut those today. Here we go, I did, I put them back. All right, we're gonna use this one right here and this one right here. And it, there's also these hearts in the Conversation Bubble dies that we're gonna put, we're gonna cut out of Lemon Lime Twist and Granny Apple Green. So bring your cut and emboss machine back over. Um, oh, I'm missing some questions. Catherine, what is Stampin' Up's reasoning for getting rid of basic pearls? Stampin' Up gets rid of things that aren't selling. We have so many um, other things that I think people are choosing other things instead of the pearls. If they're not selling, they don't stay in the catalog. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, and then I said, are they lined? Lisa, what were you asking me? Are they lined? Are you asking me or somebody else? Are they lined? Oh, the post-it notes? Is that what you're asking? They are, if that's what you're asking. Oh, I forgot the hearts. Ah! I forgot the hearts. And yeah, the Stamparatus, oh, I just dropped it. The Stamparatus, there, was, there were legal issues with that, that they were tired of fighting. Um, so they just decided to not deal with it anymore, I guess. They got tired of fighting to copyright, you know, copyright issues with another product. So sadly, 
we all get to not enjoy the Stamparatus anymore. Well, unless you have it, and then you get to enjoy it. Okay, now we're going to put these little speech bubbles right here. I love ya. And then the little, the little hearts. So cute. And then I've got these other little tiny hearts. Um, and they were, right, Lisa? Now I don't even know where I put the rest of them. They're in my drawer. Yeah, they're lying. Yes. Had to make sure. All right, and I'm going to do a little dot and a little dot and a little dot. And this is where your take your pick tool comes in very handy. So you can pick up these teeny tiny hearts. Granny Apple Green. And Lemon Lime Twist. Man, I put way too much glue. As usual. As usual. There we go. So cute. And now we're going to sandwich that ribbon so it doesn't go anywhere. Like that. Aren't they cute? I mean, who thinks of drawing fist bumping geese? You know, I just think that is so funny. And there's a there's a sentiment in here that goes with it. It says um, goose bumps. <laughs> You've got a friend in me, Goosebumps, sending gaggles of good wishes, sending a honk, a big honking thanks. Really cute. We saw some geese recently. There's not really geese here in South Texas. And my daughter and I saw some giant geese walking down a big road here. And I was like, where are those geese going? Because there's no water around here. I don't know. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> I I know some of you have geese that are problems. The Canadian geese are dirty. I know. I've heard all these stories. Thank goodness we don't have those. Okay. One more project. Let's see. Oh, it's 258. Can I beat my husband? He's going to be home at 315. Let's see if I can get this one done fast. All right. I made this tall and skinny box and I actually made it in three different sizes accidentally. And um, this is from Facebook or Stampin' Up's Facebook page. One of the artisans did a box that was tall and skinny and I loved it. Um, so I made it my own and I'm using, this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper that will be out in the annual catalog. And I've used both bubble bath and berry burst to make my boxes. So let's do, we've done two bubble bath. Let's do one berry burst. Um, inside, look, hey, if you have any leftover Easter chocolate eggs, they fit great in this box. <laughs> I mean, I thought, hey, it's a goose with some eggs. That makes sense. Or you can use Hershey Kisses or maybe even Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Okay, so we're going to, it is four and a half by eight. We're going to score it on the short side at one, two, three, four. And then half an inch, one and a half, and seven. Okay. Bone folder, burnish, leftover chocolate. I know, Lisa, like, what is that? I know, I know. This, I have a box of things that I buy for, like, seasonal projects. And this one was in that box. And I hadn't used them. And I was like, well... They're from TJ Maxx. They're cute. I don't know La Susa. Five ninety nine. I don't know. I haven't tried them. I mean, you know they're going to be good. Okay, so this end that has this little bend thing is the little boop that's going to fold in. Okay, and then down here we've got this skinny strip. So we're going to cut off the tabs on either side of that. Okay. Now we're gonna cut off these skinny ones right here, all three of them except for that one. Okay. Then, I gotta think, we're gonna completely cut off this one right here. Hopefully, I'm doing it right. And then, we're going to take these flaps right here and we're going to cut from the 
from the short side in. All right, and cut the corners off of these. Just reduce some of that bulk. Get those corners that are probably gonna poke out off. Okay, then down here, really all you need to do is snippity snip, 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 like that, okay? I don't know what that little thing is, but there you go. That's what your piece looks like. And remember, there's an individual recording over there, you guys, that you can go watch if I'm going too fast. All right, which should I use, the stars or the little dashes? I've already used the stars, so let's use the dashes. Um, there's many patterns in this pack that will go. So I will definitely have enough of this for the free make and takes. Or you can mix and match. I almost just did that. All right, adhere all of these like this. Do, do, do. Then we need our tear and tape. You guys, Pepper killed a squirrel last night. She murdered a squirrel and it was very traumatic for me. I still haven't gotten over it. She and Charlie ganged up on a little, I don't think it was a baby, but it wasn't quite a full adult. And the poor thing was squealing. Are you guys seeing what I'm doing as I talk about squirrel murder? <laughs> fold over, fold over. <sighs> I know, you know, schnauzers is what they are. And they were bred to be ratters, I think, you know, where they would sniff out rats and flush them out. And so I know it's just natural instinct and the circle of life. And I don't know, it's very upsetting to me, though, because the poor little squirrel was making a noise that I've never heard. <sighs> and then she wants to come and sit in my lap. And I'm like, ah, she was literally carrying the squirrel in her mouth. And, you know, she's only like 12 pounds and the squirrel was not much smaller than her it was very upsetting i'm still kind of mad at her and the thing was charlie and her were going back and forth so that little squirrel did not stand a chance charlie is a jerk we know charlie's a jerk so i'm not real surprised about charlie <laughs> but pepper my sweet little frou-frou fancy baby squirrel murderer all right i can't get this on come on please now that i'm thinking about dying squirrels <sighs> never a dull moment and of course my husband thought it was you know, funny and like oh good job like look at them <sighs> like I can't believe you let them do that I was screaming I was making swaps and I ran to the backyard screaming holding a bowl of dimensional backings like this out into the backyard <laughs> oh my god never a dull moment around here you guys never Never, never. Okay, so I am using this fine little sparkly ribbon. What's it called? Organdy ribbon. And there's your box. Isn't that cute? Oh, I forgot to punch. You can punch a little, a little thumb hole. See right here? Um, but I didn't, so whatever. You can do it or not do it, I guess. <laughs> if you do it, it makes it easier to open the box. Now... I'm just so, I'm so traumatized by squirrel death. I was messing things up and, <sighs> oh, oh, I'm not made for that, for wildlife murders. I guess no one is, but whatever. It's very upsetting. Okay, now back to the goose, which Pepper would probably murder the goose too if she could. We're stabbing him in memento black. And we're coloring his little balloon with berry burst again. I'm really drawn to this berry burst. And then we'll use bubble bath. I almost called it powder pink. We'll use bubble bath right there. Um, now, here's the thing I forgot I did last time that I wanted to do. I like to take my light pool party and just kind of go around the outside i know that you guys probably can't see this from there i'll hold it up in a second it just gives you kind of like a little glow around your um 
object and it kind of gives it some dimension, it pops off the page a little bit. I always love when I see projects done like this, but I, I always forget about it. So this guy was just kind of by himself here and I thought, let's make him, let's give him a glow up, make him glow. Let me finish him and then I'll hold him up so you guys can see. His little bill. Like that, do, 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 like that. Okay, now, there he is. Can you guys see the little glow? I'm not seeing your comments. I know, Nydia was so sad. You know, I don't love squirrels. I mean, they're so cute, but they are very destructive. We actually have a squirrel that has made a nest in our attic right now. Maybe not anymore, but... <laughs> No, I don't. This was a little. I I kept saying it was a baby, and my husband was like, "It's not a baby. He's just small." Whatever. All right, Versa Mark. Where did I put the Versa Mark, you guys? I had it. Is it out? I remember I left it out. It's here, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Okay, we're gonna stamp the sentiment, and I cut it twice because let's see if I can get it straight. I may need two tries. Really, what you should do is stamp and then cut but for the sake of time i try to do a lot ahead <sighs> let's see i think i got it straight yes i did a silly goose told me it's your birthday so i'm giving you leftover easter candy for your birthday hey you know what it doesn't say easter you can buy chocolate eggs any time of the year especially if you're using a goose you know, Hershey Kisses might not look good. I don't know. They might look like something else with a goose. <laughs> am I overthinking it? I think I am. Uh, just a bit. Okay, dimensionals are gone. Here they are. And we are almost done. We're going to just stick that right there. And then this goes right there. And a couple of dimensionals on here. I can't remember where the front of my box is now. But we're just going to stick it on like this real fast. There we go. All right. What do you think? So cute, right? So easy. So easy. Okay, I have one more card for you that I'm going to show you on Monday. Let me show it to you. I found, I've been cleaning out cabinets for the move, and I found a um, technique binder that I had from a long time ago. And the techniques, most of them in there were really lame and not really techniques anymore with products that we don't even have but one of them I found was wax paper where you crumple up wax paper you put it on top of your paper and you iron it and then you take it off and it leaves like a texture right well I can't feel it but it's like it imprints the wax so then you take your blending brush and you blend over it and it makes it leaves the pattern of the crinkled wax paper so I was going to make a video of this and I didn't get I didn't get to it this week. So maybe on Monday I'll be able to film it real fast. But that's that card right there featuring our new Azure. What's it called? Azure Afternoon? Azure? Azure? I, I don't know. Okay. You guys, thanks for hanging with me today. We had fun with our new colors. Remember, if you want a make and take of all three of these. I will be sending you the new little samples of the cardstock to make your projects. Um, a $35 minimum order. You can order anything you want. Make sure you use the host code. If you use the host code, I'll send you the projects. If your order reaches $150, do not use the host code because then you get free stamping rewards. And I will still send you the projects. Okie dokie. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. I beat my husband. Let's see what's at 310. Okay. He's not going to walk in before I'm done. You guys have a great weekend. I appreciate you. And I will see you next Friday. Oh, next Friday. Speaking of, I don't know what we're doing, but I think we're using the um, uh, ocean set. I can't remember what it's called. What's the ocean set from the spring catalog? I can't remember. It'll be a surprise. Join me next week at 2 o'clock. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. <laughs>